Hello everyone, and welcome back to Conspiracy. Today, uh, we're going to be going over part two of the Cryptid's Iceberg. You can see there is still a lot to cover. Get ready, strap in, grab yourself some popcorn or whatever snack you enjoy or a drink maybe, and let's get into it. A golem is an animated anthropomorphic creature in Jewish folklore, which is made of inanimate matter, usually clay, mud, or rock. The oldest stories date to early Judaism. In the Talmud, Adam was created as a golem initially. Like Adam, all golems were created from mud by those close to divinity, but are not fully human. Golems are also popular in media around the world. A griffin is a creature that has the body, tail, and back legs of a lion, the head and wings of an eagle, and occasionally an eagle's talon on its front feet. In the Middle Ages, the griffin was thought to be an especially powerful and majestic creature, as both the lion and the eagle were considered kings of their respective kingdoms, beasts, and birds. The first known representation of a griffin-like creature dates back to 3000 BC in both ancient Iranian and ancient Egyptian artworks. I'm pretty sure most of you are aware of Krampus at the very least, as it's kind of appeared in more and more media as of late. Uh, it's an evil entity that punishes those who are bad around the Christmas season. Krampus dates back to pre-Christian Alpine traditions, where it pairs up with Saint Nicholas. The two go house to house, with Saint Nicholas rewarding the good children with oranges, dried fruit, walnuts, and chocolate, while Krampus punishes the bad children with birch rods, uh, essentially beating them with the rods. They don't they don't get the rods, they get beat. First found in Irish folklore, the leprechaun is generally a little bearded man wearing a green coat and hat and likes to cause mischief. Leprechaun creatures rarely appear in Irish mythos, but have only become prominent in more recent times. In later times, a leprechaun is depicted as shoemakers who have a pot of gold hidden at the end of the rainbow. Uh, I've checked. Not there. Leprechauns are not evil, but can be annoying due to their love of mischief. Not to be confused with internet trolls today, the troll is a being in Nordic folklore, including Norse mythology. Beings described as trolls dwell on isolated areas of rocks, mountains, and caves, commonly live together in small family units, and are often not helpful to humans. Later, in Scandinavian folklore, trolls become their own being with a name. They live far from human habitation and are considered dangerous to humans. Depending on the source and where the source uh, sourced their ideas, uh, trolls can be ugly and dumb. Think about uh, the Harry Potter troll, specifically. Um, Lord of the Ring trolls kind of ugly, uh, or they can look and behave exactly like human beings with no grotesque characteristics. Trolls also were made tiny and friendly with the troll dolls, and more recently, the trolls movies. By far one of the most believable cryptids, the unicorn dates way back to 2000 BC. The reason I say it's be believable is we already have variations of horses. Right? Zebras, the striped horse, hippo, the bulky water horse, the giraffe, the long neck spotted horse, donkey, horse with a different name. Is it really that hard to believe that a horse with a horn would exist? We live in a world where an eel that lives in water can electrocute you and you're like, ah, unicorns can't exist. Anyway, uh, the unicorn is often a symbol of purity and grace and could only be captured by a virgin. The horn is supposed to have powers such as rendering poisoned water potable and to heal wounds and illnesses. The word vampire first appeared in English in 1732 in news reports about vampire epidemics in Eastern Europe. Vampires in culture cannot be in sunlight and have different repercussions if they do. The most common thing for a vampire in the sunlight is to dissolve and die unless you're in the twilight, in which case they don't die, they sparkle. Vampires are said to be warded off by garlic and crosses and can only be killed by a wooden stake through the heart. Uh, vampires are most common in Transylvania, a region in Romania. They are said to feed on the blood of people, sleep in coffin, and can turn into bats. Jinns are invisible creatures from pre-Islamic Arabian religious systems and later in Islamic mythology. 
Jinn seem to just be invisible people as far as Islamic culture is concerned, as they are held accountable for their deeds, can either be believers or unbelievers, uh, depending on if they accept God's guidance. Jinns can also possess individuals, according to Muslim scholars, and is considered part of the doctrines of the people of Sunnah. Alright, back to the ocean we go. Leviathan is a sea serpent noted in both theology and mythology. The monster is referred to in several books of the Hebrew Bible in Psalms, Job, Isaiah, Amos, and in some translations, the book of Jonah and Enoch. It is often an embodiment of chaos and threatens to eat the damned after their life. Christian theology identifies the Leviathan with the demon of the deadly sin of envy. Since the 17th century, the word Leviathan has come to refer to any sea monster and is synonymous with overwhelmingly powerful people or things. Um, if you were like to describe someone or like a, someone or like a company as a behemoth, similar similar things. The Roc is a huge legendary bird of prey in mythology of the Middle East. The Roc appears in Arab areas and was popularized in Arabian fairy tales and sailors' folklore. A merchant once told of a mountain hovering in the air over the China Seas, which was the Roc. According to historian Rudolf Wittkauer, the Roc has its origin in the story of the fight between the Indian solar bird Garuda and the serpent Naga. Not the actor, although he is also a pretty big fella. An aswang is an umbrella term for various shape-shifting evil creatures in Filipino folklore. These include vampires, ghouls, witches, and werebeasts. Were dogs, were cats, were pigs, etc. Uh, the creature is well known throughout the Philippines, dating back to the 16th century. They have no specific motive other than to harm humans. Being a creature lurking in swamps, creeks, riverbeds, and waterholes, the bunyip has mysterious origins. Over the past 150 years, it has been debated on what started the bunyip legend, but the most common theory is that someone was confused when they saw a seal. Physical descriptions of the creature wildly vary from story to story. There is also a town in Australia called Bunyip, which the creature is named after. An aquatic creature that has caused quite a bit of controversy lately, uh, with the top half of a female human and the bottom half of a fish, a mermaid, one of the most popular cryptids in culture today. Sirens from ancient Greek times have influenced and overlapped mermaids to the point that the sirens are often described as mermaids. Due to the overlap, mermaids are said to either be benevolent or wicked towards people. The most famous mermaid in culture today is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Um, I wrote this script before the trailer came out, so, um, you know, lots have gone on since then. Lots of people talking about The Little Mermaid and Ariel, so I was even more correct now than I was when I wrote this. There are also mermen, where they have the top half of a guy and the bottom half of a fish. Same thing, but it's a guy. An ahul is a winged cryptid, often portrayed as a giant bat. However, they can also be described as a flying primate, similar to Tier 1, the Bat Squatch. It mostly eats the local creatures, however, it will occasionally attack humans due to the fact that the creature is territorial. The first sighting of the creature was in 1925 by Ernest Bartels. I thought this one was really interesting, sometimes also called flying rods. Air rods are similar to crop circles in the fact that skeptics acknowledge their existence, with the only question being what they really are. Air rods have never been seen by a human with their eyes. Like, you can't just, like, look at one with your eyes. They've only been picked up through photographs throughout the world. Uh, some are more convincing than others. Some just kind of look like bugs or a blurry bird, but some of them do look more legit. A phantom cat, from what I've gathered, are large cats, like cougars, lions, jaguars, that allegedly appear in areas outside of their traditionally home areas. Phantom cats have been seen all around the world outside of their regions. Uh, the most famous phantom cat is the Gippsland phantom cat. It's said that in Australia, World War II airmen brought cougars with them and allegedly released them into the Australian bush, which would have caused this. This really is one that I should be more familiar with. 
uh, as it's said to reside on a lake that borders two of my favorite states, one of which I live in, Utah and Idaho. The Bear Lake monster originally can be found from articles written in the 19th century by a Mormon settler in the area. The latest reported sighting of the monster was in 2002. It's been 20 years, step up your game. There isn't an official description of the monster, but some of the most common descriptions include a serpent with legs about a foot and a half long, which it uses to crawl across the shoreline. It just kind of sounds like an alligator, actually, like a big alligator. The Beast of Bray Road, also known as the Wisconsin Werewolf, is supposed to be a humanoid, wolf-like creature in a rural area of Wisconsin. Named for the road on which it was first sighted, reports of the creature started in the 1980s and 1990s, which prompted the local media to assign a reporter to cover the story. The reporter was initially skeptical, but actually was convinced through the sincerity of the witnesses. Animal mutilations, including livestock and wild creatures, are common around Bray Road and are blamed on the beast. Uh, pretty much just a ripoff of Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, Bessie is an aquatic creature found in Lake Erie. Should have just named it like S.A. S.E. The first recorded sighting of Bessie was in 1793. However, sightings have occurred in greater frequency within the last 30 years. The most recent sighting of the creature, however, was in 1995, and a CNN article was released on the monster, as there is a video. I want to see if I can find it and play it here. Uh, the bloop, it's more of a proposed cryptid and not like an actual creature. It refers to a low frequency underwater sound that was detected in 1997. Uh, it said that the bloop was made by a big creature. It was like such a big noise. It was said that it was made by a huge creature that was unknown to animals. However, recently scientists have decided that it actually sounds consistent with noises of glacier movements. Another lake monster, located in Lake Champlain, Champ or Champy, lives in the freshwater lakes in the North America continent near the US and Canada border. Champ actually is pretty much just the Loch Ness Monster, as it is regarded to either be nothing more than a legend or an old dinosaur that has survived in the depths of the lake. The village of Port Henry in New York has a giant statue of Champ, and they hold Champ Day on the first Saturday of every August, very similar to the Mothman Festival. Devil monkeys are described as large baboon-type primates that have been spotted in wooded areas of Flagstaff, Arizona. A hiker in the area noted that her dog was acting funny on a hike. That's when she noticed some primate-looking creatures scurrying through the rocks. She described them as about four to five feet tall, quick, and agile. There are also places where they have been sighted in surrounding areas, including New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. It is said that these creatures can reach a height of seven feet are faster and more agile than the Bigfoot or Yeti, and are more similar to the Chupacabra than any other kind of primate. Deloy's ape is pretty much debunked as a hoax, as the only witness of it is a uh, photographer of this photograph taken by Deloy's. Critics say that it is nothing more than a spider monkey carcass, however cryptozoologists like to support the idea that he actually found an unknown primate. Uh, the dodo isn't a cryptid. Dodo is a real bird that existed and went extinct in 1662. Uh, the reason I think it's on this list is because maybe they're like, oh, it might still be out there somewhere. But uh, as of right now, it was real and now it's dead. There's actually a couple like this on this tier. The Fiji mermaid is a mermaid made out of a monkey top with a fish bottom. It was made by P.T. Barnum of Barnum & Bailey's Circus. What Barnum claims is that he found the mermaid and he didn't make it. He claimed that the Fiji mermaid is a real mermaid uh, and clear-cut evidence of mermaids. However, you can kind of tell it's just a monkey top and a fish bottom that were like glued together. This one is pretty obvious, and like unicorns, uh, very popular in media. Ghosts appear in movies, TV shows, video games, etc. Said to be the spirit of a previously living person, a ghost can haunt a certain place, object, or person. There are many TV shows today that focus on ghost hunting, one of the most popular actually being a show that I'm currently watching. 
Uh, well, writing, I wrote, I was watching it while I wrote the script. I was watching Ghost Adventures. And I'm not afraid, not ashamed to say that I was watching Ghost Adventures. Uh, Giant Anaconda, also not a cryptid. Big Snake, still exists. It's in South America. Moving on. Injured Cold, more commonly known as the Smiling Man, is a humanoid entity sighted throughout the United States, but most commonly in West Virginia. The nickname comes from the fact that the creature tends to smile at almost everyone that encounters him. He is commonly associated with UFO activity and is occasionally believed to be an alien. However, it is also reported that he could be working with the men in black. One of the sightings was by a child who was asleep and was woken up by the man and is quoted as saying, It was a man... A big man, very broad. I couldn't see his face very well, but I could see that he was grinning at me. He walked around the bed and stood right over me. I screamed and hid under the covers. When I looked again, he was gone. While people think this encounter is the smiling man, the family believes it could also have actually been a ghost or a spirit. This story also took place in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, which is where Mothman is from, so maybe this town is just a hotspot or like a portal to a different dimension or something. The Kappa is an amphibious creature found in traditional Japanese folklore, depicted as a green human-like being with webbed hands and feet with a turtle shell on their back. They are accused of assaulting humans in water and removing a mythical organ from the victim's anus. Said to be found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Africa, the Kasai Rex is said to be a surviving species of dinosaur in the same family as the T-Rex. Uh, as I said in the first here, you can't prove a negative, so we can't prove the Kasai Rex doesn't exist. Uh, however, with that said, if it is indeed alive and real, it would most likely be a Spinosaurid type dinosaur, as no known species of like Tyrannosaurid dinosaurs had ever been reported in Africa. Also known as the Lizard Man of Lee County, the Lizard Man of Gape Ogre Swamp is an entity said to inhabit the swampland in South Carolina. First sighted in 1988, the creature is said to have caused significant damage to the area. With the damage and the increase in sightings, the creature got a ton of media attention in the late 1980s. A 17-year-old local named Christopher Davis first sighted the creature when he said it caused damage to his car. He described it as green, wet-like, about 7 feet tall with 3 fingers, red eyes, skin like a lizard, and snake-like scales. He said that he first noticed the creature when he was fixing a flat tire on his way home from work. As he had finished fixing the tire and was walking back to start driving home, he said he first saw the creature as it rushed towards him. He drove away as fast as he could, but the creature was allegedly on his roof of the car. He slammed the brakes, causing the creature to roll off the roof, giving Chris time to escape. Also, not a cryptid. Not why. Not 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 sure why it's on here. It existed. It was real. Uh, it's extinct. I think it's on here for the same reason as the dodo, where they're like, oh, maybe it's not extinct, but it's not a cryptid. Mantis Man is a roughly seven foot tall bug type creature reportedly seen in Hackettstown, New Jersey. The creature has a description I'm sure none of you would ever expect. It looks like a tall praying mantis. I guess Mantis Man's an okay name, but it lacks creativity, that's for sure. Mantis Man has been spotted twice, both by fishermen near bodies of water, which is odd since praying mantises don't actually spend a lot of time near water. It appears to be timid as every time it's approached, it runs away. He's just like me at parties. Get me out of here. Uh, again, a Megalodon. Giant shark went extinct millions of years ago. It was estimated to weigh 67.86 tons. That's the biggest shark to have ever existed. However, the dodo, the mammoth, it existed, right? That's, that's our problem. It existed. I don't know why it's on this list. I have no idea how to pronounce this one, and Google is just throwing like slurs at me when I try to translate it, so I'm just going to try my best. The Mokele Maembe is a supposed water-dwelling entity that is said to live in the Congo River Basin. It has been described both as a living creature and a spirit. 
Those who have been said to have seen the monster describe it as a large quadruped with smooth skin and a long neck with a single tooth, and looking at the picture, you can see it pretty much looks the same as a brontosaurus from the late Jurassic period. The entity is mostly the focus of the cryptozoology community and, oddly enough, young earth creationists. Probably because it looks like a dinosaur. I actually remember when the Montauk monster was first discovered. Uh, in July of 2008, this picture was circling around the internet, which is of a creature that had washed up in Montauk, New York. At first, media reports were that it was a turtle without its shell. However, if you've ever seen an x-ray of a turtle or anything like that, you know that they're actually fused to their shell, so that's not possible. Uh, the final consensus from the scientific community was that it was a water-degraded raccoon. Now, I don't know... Uh, who was smoking crack when they came up with this theory, but raccoons don't have beaks or like these weird spiny teeth. A naga is a divine or semi-divine race of half-human, half-serpent beings that reside in the netherworld, according to Hindu and Buddhist culture. The closest visual that I can give you it would be Medusa, who fits the description perfectly. What a naga does exactly depends on what region of the world you're in, where some are just divine beings that don't necessarily do anything. Look at this guy. Look at how cute this little dude is. I don't know why, but I have such a soft spot for like dumb looking things. I mean, look at this. It's a graded ice cue for like a Pokemon card. I, uh, I pulled it one day when I was pulling Pokemon cards and I thought it looked real cute and I was like, oh my god, I have to get this graded. Like, I don't care if it's not worth anything, I have to get this graded. I love just, like, <laughs> dumb looking things. Uh, anyway, uh, the Ningen has been in Japanese folklore since the mid-2000s. It's an aquatic, humanoid, well-like creature said to inhabit the sub-Antarctic oceans. In 2002, a Japanese forum post was blowing up, claiming that members of a whale research ship witnessed a creature as it surfaced near the ship off the Antarctic coast. Originally thinking that it was a submarine, the crew went to take a closer look, when the creature vanished into the waves. Sadly, this is only the only cute look like the only cute picture of it as uh, it's also said to have long arms not sure why it wasn't depicted there but uh you can see other renditions look way more creepy as seen here and here In Cornish folklore, the Owlman is an owl-like humanoid creature having been seen in 1976 in Cornwall, UK. The Owlman is often compared to, you'll never believe it, Mothman. Mothman's just showing up everywhere. This guy, everywhere. The Owlman is first found when a family vacationing in the area cut their vacation short. The reason for this shortage was due to the fact that the family's two daughters were so frightened by what they claimed to be a large winged creature hovering over the tower of St. Mawan and St. Stephen's Church on April 17, 1967. They were so frightened by the sight of a large feathered birdman that their father immediately cut their vacation short and one of his daughters provided him with a drawing of the creature, which he then dubbed the Owlman. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a good day or night or evening or morning, whenever you're watching this. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts on any of the cryptids down in the comments below. Um, next week, a video on Rasputin. So, keep an eye out for that, and uh, I'll see you guys here next week for that. Again, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll catch you in the next one.